so I'm now back from the bathroom and um, just to give um, something I didn't expect um, I got a text from my dad and apparently uh, they saw one of my videos oh, uh, they saw what? the magic sheep video Oh, that ought to be good. <laughs> they said that uh, they had a lot of tears and uh, they're happy about it. I'm now legit terrified of whatever else they're going to watch on my channel. Eh, I'm sure they're not going to rip you up. Oh, actually, those cross-dress vectors, I think I may have to get rid of them. <laughs> no, 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 you're not. Excuse oh, no, you're you. not. <laughs> Boy, you are you're stuck. not getting rid of you're not getting rid of your self-expression. Mm -mm. We they're, won't allow it. Well, they're um, they're gonna have questions. I'm gonna guarantee you that. Well, okay. Who gives a shit? You're a grown man. You tell them what you think, and you tell them this is your life. Tell them to suck it up. You're a grown man. They can't tell you what to do. Damn. And then, Com and like, then put on then go ahead. put on the stockings. Okay, man, if you're talking about your ability to, like, use holographic imagery to project your body in other places without actually leaving your physical location, okay, fine. That is true. But do not say you don't exist as a person. Clock. Myth. Bonk, 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 bonk. Jesus Christ, myth got Those me mixed up with solar. Astral myth, projection. come on. Astral projection is different from holograms. Oh, well, you know what I mean. She knows what I mean. Y'all know what I mean. Shut up! What the hell? Oh, what? my back. Oh, it's, um, a thing in the Brony D&D fan server. Hmm. There's, uh... There's a fan server? Yes, there is. Woohoo! Oh. Okay, what What about it? What? What's the deal? Okay, it's run by William Beasley, if you know who that is. Nope. Not a clue. Well, well, he is mostly a fan of Welcome to the Show, anyway. Makes sense. So, um... Uh, this, this is just strange, but the guy... Uh. And this guy and one of the mods of the server who he's friends with, he, they have this constant war going back and forth about crabs. Okay. Okay. What and I'm just crabs? talking about the animal crabs, not like the STD. <laughs> okay, so so the thing that I was the champion of during BronyCon, got it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know what it, but um, one of the he uh zero, who's which is the guy who he's is at war about the crabs. Yeah. He just doesn't want to get crabbed all the time. So of course, um, William is throwing crabs at him oh, as much as God damn possible it. at yeah. every moment of every day, as he should. There we go. Don't set yourself up like a dumbass. Don't be a poopy head. Damn. Yeah, but <laughs> it's just kind of stupid because. And so I roll. I scroll through the um, I scroll through the server just to like check some messages. At the very bottom, it's just. This big ass picture of a beach full of crabs. Kinky. Just nothing but crabs. Is it like the crab raid? I don't know what the fuck it is. Have you ever seen the crab raid before? Oh, with the dancing crabs? I've seen that. Yes. Who? Huh? It's a master code. Hey, master it's code. a Pokemons. Yep. Oh, it's a Rhyhorn. Okay. Excuse you? Oh, I know what to balls. use. Hmm. Use oh, your yeah. blue eyes. It's a particular move that the dragon wasn't supposed to have a type of. Oh, it's doing so well in my favors. One hit kill. Holy shit. <laughs> Uno hitaquita. Damn. Yeah, rock ground is a really bad typing combo, and it's hilariously freaking common. Yeah, it's a type combo that's vulnerable to itself. Yep. Which, I mean, I suppose that's a good thing in terms of you don't- you want to try and cover some of its weaknesses. But in doing so, you've also opened up a very stunning weakness to both water and fucking grass-type moves. 
So Yeah, like it's got two quad weaknesses. You don't do that. Two fairly common quad weaknesses, I'll I'll add. You should say really save quad weaknesses for pseudo legendary. Alright, so where is I don't know. Oh yeah, that's right. Landorus also has a quad weakness because ground is weak to ice. Mm-hmm. That that's that's one thing that I love. Is because Mega Agron can 1v1 Landorus because it can learn ice punch. <laughs> and that makes me happy. <laughs> you just you you just love the shit out of Mega Agron. Out of Agron in general. I, I love Agron in general. Agron's a fucking <laughs> rad Pokemon. He's fucking great. It's a it's a big fuck off dinosaur that's plated in metal. What's not to love? <laughs> it's your best friend in killing machine. Oh, all son in of a bitch, basically. <laughs> Hi, Master Code. Well, you, you just now notice he's here. Yeah. Where were you? Uh, she's I'm... off on her other planet. I, I am. She's been on off Planet on my other Bliss. Planet. I've been hoping to ask a question, but people kept talking, so I waited. What do you got? Uh, so believe it or not, I am completely clueless to the Count of Monte Crisco. I'm only been introduced to it because of MLP content. <laughs> 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 okay. So that being said, after watching the Ink Pots version of their animatic of their pre of their most recent video that was released, it was called Roxanne the El Tango. I was just wondering, is there a song that comes after it? Is like, is there like an aftermath to this story? They all live happily ever after. It's a story about revenge. That's really the cliff notes. Oh my gosh, Golden Fox is here. Yeah. Hi. <sighs> Where do I... Oh, wait. I know. Alright. Oh, I am back! Are you alive? Son of a... I am alive! Where, what did you guys last hear? Yeah, for Turn from the Ether. What the hell is this? Oh, nice! Oh. Hey, What's hey guys, I'll be right back. Alright. Oh, okay, I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna mute for a sec. Okay. Alright, fuck it. There's a there's a fire kit. Oh heal, um that best is my kill. Okay. Sorry that I'm boring you guys with this. Nah, it's fine. I don't need the pokey flute anymore. What? I don't think you can get rid of it because Ooh. it's a key item. I like, um, yeah, sure, Myth. At some point, uh, hopefully if I can get this done, I can get, um, the eighth badge and then just call it a night. Because I'm like, despite the, uh, you know, the circumstances of my Pokemon, I'm making a lot of progress. In Gen 1, I would say probably, probably typing is probably at its least important stage. Because once you get into the later generations, typings become way, way more important. <laughs> <laughs> typings and abilities, too. Because that's because in later generations, they introduce abilities. Hang and on. Some of, them, some of them are greater than others. Somebody just said that the stream audio is on repeat. Is it? Mm -hmm. do, they, do they have more than one tab open? Is that it? I don't know. Hmm. Oh god, it's happening. It's not repeating for Okay, well, um okay, so take care of those guys. Um
Oh, it's another Rhyhorn. Hmm. Perhaps there's another move that'll help me in my favor. Boom. It was a one-hit kill. Sorry, I'm, like, looking at my phone at the same time. Like, since my dad, like, mentioned the content, I was, um... I was gonna try to see if I can link them uh, the stream and like my parents can watch me or something. <laughs> All right. Yeah, just refresh the page. Maybe we'll look now. Just. Hey guys, I'm gonna head out. Uh, guys, Lars is probably gonna call me to bed soon. So. All right, you go ahead and do that. It was fun having you around. Goodbye. Oh, Alright, let's see how good this will do. Alright, so I knocked it about halfway down. Also, looking forward to more of those. Yeah, I'm glad you like those. Um, Where is my... Critical hit. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, jeez. That's how good this will do. Oh! It's not a magic pixel, but still, that's annoying. It's always annoying. Wait until Sturdy gets introduced. Sturdy? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Sturdy is an ability that got introduced that basically says, oh, if your Pokemon was going to get knocked out in one hit, it will live with one HP. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, fuck. <laughs> also, Sturdy just so happens to be one of the abilities that Aggron has, so. More with the Aggron worship. Agron's a pretty cool dude. Also, for whatever reason, it can learn thunder, which is funny because then it can it can meme on water types. But then again, it also has a horrible special attack stat. But it's still funny. <laughs> oh yes, my metal plated dinosaur is going to summon fucking thunderbolts. <laughs> All right, let's see how good this will do. Oh fuck! You kiss my ass. Magnestra! Fucking god damn it. Oh! Yeah, this one never misses. Good. Fucking hell. Oh. Never miss moves are typically gimped by the amount of damage they output, which is almost non existent in most cases. Ugh. Yeah, usually they are capped off at about 60. 60 oh. is about the highest I've ever so, seen them go, um, so. I should go browse around the gym and see if I took uh, care of everyone else first. The leader will scold me. Okay, I took care of him. I took care of those three guys. Let's go over here. Oh. How many times am I going to have to enter this goddamn information? <sighs> yeah, I see Giovanni over there. I'm not ready to take on him just yet. Because there's something that I've also noticed. Let's say I take on the gym leader. Once I defeat the gym leader, all the other, um, you know, trainers that are left to be fought, they'll already admit defeat. So you can't yeah. fight them. And it looks like... It looks like all the other... Okay, so it looks like Gianfani's, um the only one left. I'm fairly confident considering I've battled all these other Pokemon. Um... Dragonair has been leveling up with no sweat. But I'm not going to, you know, let this victorious progress get to my head. 